Hey guys, it's me back with a new video today. And first I just wanted to say happy early Mother's Day. Yes, this is a Mother's Day project video. And there will be three DIYs to do for your mother or just like a loved one that you love. It can be for your grandma, any any mother kind of thing or just someone that you're really close with that takes care of you or your nanny or something like that. And then one special food treat into my phone because I dropped it yesterday at my friend's house and all this happened and then yeah and then when you turn it on it's like black so like I think I broke my phone yeah I did so that's kind of cool so it is actually nine o'clock in the morning so yeah but anyways let's get started so for this first DIY, what you're going to need is some sugar or salt, some masking tape, some chalk, some fabric paint, or just any paint, a paint brush like this, a mason jar glass, and a one cup measuring cup. So first start off by taking your one cup of sugar or salt, whichever one you prefer. I am going with sugar. And you're just going to take your jar and you're going to put it in. After that, you're going to take the color chalk that you want and stir it until it gets that color. And also, before you pour it in, you can just stir the chalk in here so it's easier and then once it turns that color, you can pour it in the mason jar. So the first color that I'm going with is green. And then some, like, a violet purple. So you just can pour that in the mason jar. And then, lastly, like, a blue. So next, once you have done all your sand colors, you're just going to take some paint. And once again, I like using fabric paint because it gives more of a glossy color. And then take some masking tape and you're going to put it on the lines of the mason jar so you have some nice lines when you take it off and when the paint is all uh, finished. So then you could just take your paintbrush and start painting like crazy and just have fun with it. After you are finished with your painting, you can just remove the masking tape and I put the masking tape so it can have straight lines. So after you have finished painting it, you just let it sit for about maybe 10-15 minutes. The longer the better, it will be more shinier. Even though this is fabric paint, it looks a little more glossy, that's the way I like it, but it doesn't show up. But it looks more glossy, so I like this. So it just looks like this, and it's really pretty. And I just really like it. And then after it dries, I will show you what you can do with it for Mother's Day. Now that it has finished drying, what we are going to do now is pick some flowers and leaves and just have fun, and then we're going to stick them in the jar.
So for this DIY first gift, I really like it. I think it's awesome. So now you don't have to go to any store and get her a flowers or a flower vase just to put flowers in. You could just make it yourself at home. And I just really like it. I thought it was a cute idea. So I just did this and I hope you like this one. And let's get to the next one. So what you are going to need is a mason jar, some beads, some glitter, and a little pokey dotter thingy sponge. So start off by taking your mason jar and your glitter, and I'm choosing to go with silver. So then put your glitter on the sponge thing, and what you're going to do is just start making any design you want on the jar, but I am going to do some polka dots, so that's why I'm using the sponge. So you can just keep doing that design until you are finished. After you finish decorating your jar, you can just pour the beads in. And I'm choosing to do orange beads because I'm choosing to do some orange flowers. And then the last DIY is just to make some cute bows that you can have for a keychain for your mom or to hang one, like a small one on her car keys or just have matching ones just for the fun of it and hang them up in your room. So first you can just pick the duct tape that you want and I'm going with some owls and flowers. So then taking your base color, which is going to be owls for me, you're just going to take a decent size of duct tape. It doesn't have to be long, not too short, just like that. And then you're going to rip it off. What you're going to do is lay it out, the sticky side up, and then you're going to fold it so the sticky sides are touching together. And then any sti sticky access that is left over, just fold into the other side of the duct tape. So then you could just keep rolling it back and forth on each side until it forms a bow. And it just looks really cute and I really like this and I think your mom would love it. I will be making a microwave mug cake and I decided to do it um, because my mom makes these every single night and I thought I would just be able to surprise her so I just would like to do this and I am taking a heart bowl so it can show how much I love her and if you don't have a heart bowl it's fine you can just use a mug or something that has love on it or hearts or anything like that but if you do have this that is fantastic and this is really quick and easy so you can make this if you would like. It takes maybe like 10, 15 minutes, but it's really easy. So I hope you like this treat. And yes, you can hear my dog barking. But let's get started. So start off by spraying your pan with Pam spray. Then taking one fourth cup of flour, you're going to pour that into your bowl. Then taking one fourth cup of liquid egg whites, and if you don't have these, you can just use a one regular egg. Then taking almond milk or regular milk, you're going to take one fourth cup too. And then um, a tablespoon of sugar. And a quarter of a tablespoon of 
baking powder. Then you can take some Hershey cocoa or cocoa powder, but my mom likes the cocoa powder, so I will do that. And then after you are done with that, you can just stir it all up. Then you're going to cover it in plastic food or saran wrap. And then once you cover it, you can just put it into the microwave for a minute and 10 seconds. So after you put it in the microwave, you are all finished, and this cake smells really good. But I'm just warning you guys that it is really hot when you take it out, and I just burnt my finger, so be careful. So to make it even more tastier, you can just top it off with some peanut butter or some chocolate chips or some whipped cream. Mm.